welcome to this channel in this particular tutorial we would be designing a comb filter using LT spice tool for more such videos I request you to like share and subscribe to my channel below a delay can be used to construct a useful filter called as the comb filter implementation of the comb filter is shown in this particular tutorial a 50 ohm characteristic impedance coax transmission line with an electrical length of 5 nanoseconds used for the delay element. Transmission line is terminated with 50 ohm resistor and it is assumed that the 50 ohm is lesser than 5 kilo ohm so that the 5 kilo ohm resistor don't load the output of the transmission line. V out is the average signals on the top and the bottom of the resistors. This type of filter will be useful in communication systems where it is used to isolate and prevent the crosstalk between the transmission channels. Now click on new schematic and you will get this particular schematic window. Now click on components and in the component section select the ideal lossless transmission line which is called as T line in the LD spice now click OK and place this particular transmission line on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial click on component and select the voltage source place this particular voltage source on the schematic window and click escape now we have to define the voltage source so we will define this as V in next we have to place a resistor so click on resistor and place this particular resistor R1 R2 and R3 on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to make the appropriate connections in this particular circuit so now click on ground and place the ground connection across the resistor r1 and across the uh, ideal transmission uh, line and click escape now click on wire and connect the ground to the ideal transmission line as shown in this particular tutorial next we have to connect the ideal transmission line T1 to resistor R1 and the resistor R2 is connected to the resistor R1 and the other end of resistor R1 is connected to the ground and resistor R2 is connected to resistor R3 as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on wire and connect the negative terminal of the voltage source to ground and the positive terminal of the voltage source to the transmission line. Now connect the other end of the resistor R3 to the voltage source Vn and the transmission line T1. Now click on wire and extend the wire across the resistor R2 and resistor R3. Now right click on resistor R1 and define the resistance value as 150 ohm and uh, define the resistance value as 50 ohm and uh, right click on resistor R2 and define the resistance value as 5 kilo ohm right click on resistor R3 define the resistance value as 5 kilo ohm now define the V out connection across the resistor R2 and R3 click on label net and define the V in connection and place this across the transmission line T1 as shown in this particular tutorial now we have to define the voltage source so click on sign and define the DC offset as 0, amplitude as 1, frequency as 50 megahertz and 
am AC amplitude as 1 and place this on the schematic window so we can see this particular uh, schematic as shown in this particular tutorial now click on edit click on spice analysis since we have to perform the transient and the DC analysis so select the transient analysis define the stop time as 40 nano and then define the skip initial operating point solution and place this on the schematic window now define the value of dd as 5 nano which is the time delay in this particular schematic now run this particular simulation and place the probe across v in and v out now you can see the uh, transient analysis for this particular comb filter now let us say we want to do the uh, ac or the dc analysis so uh, remove this particular uh, spice analysis click on spice analysis and select the ac analysis define the type of sweep as linear define the number of points uh, around uh, uh, thousand and uh, define the start and the stop frequency which is 10 kilo and the stop frequency as uh, 500 meg and click ok now place this particular uh, spice analysis on the schematic window save this and run this particular simulation place the probe across the v out now you can see the uh, ac analysis for the comb filter now let us say we want to change the y and the x axis so right click on that y axis and uh, click on linear and uh, define the range uh, top as 1 millivolt and define the tick as 100 millivolt and click ok now you can see the change uh, which we got in the uh, ac analysis uh, simulation thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below